hello welcome to this tutorial i'm Morris dimba and today i'm going to show you how to create a plot stamp for your title block and how to use one title block for all your drawings and we'll get started right away here in autocad if you take a look on the screen here you can see my title block already in place and if i try to select everything it singly get selected uh, selected only w one part if i select that that part gets selected as as a single part if i pick that it's not grouped it's not a block now today i'm going to show you how to create uh, a, a plot stamp a plot stamp for your drawing a plot stamp means that uh, when you make a drawing or print out a drawing uh, the date and the time of print out or conversion to pdf will be uh, will be stamped here and also the name of the file or the path of the file will, will be printed along the drawing now um, i'll show you how to put that and be printed automatically either when you do printing on a printer or when you are doing or you're converting the pdf format from autocad right here now just put on just put a text next here putting a name plot uh, uh, plot stamp uh, plot date and a file name now we will allocate them the attributes that will enable it automatically print out the date and time of printout and uh, the path of this particular file now let's get started right here then once you've done that just come to define attributes here click on define attributes today i'm going to uh, give some hint in AutoCAD not always tecla structures now I'll type here file name I'll just type file name here file name file name that's where you are and I'll uh, just pick that copy that and paste it here Maybe I'll put XX. I don't need to put that XX. I'll, I'll allocate it. Uh, the file name. Now, I'll come to and uh, this uh, field category. I'll click that drop down arrow. And I'll come to document here. Or I'll come to plot. Under plot, I'll try to pick on the plot date but this one will come to it later on let me just straight go straight to document then i'll pick on document then i'll pick on file name right there and uh, i'll either check path and file name i'll go with the path and file name then i'll click ok then uh, i'll click ok once again and i'll place my file name right here my file name i'll place it right there so what i'll do i'll come here and change the text to match this then i'll drag it and put it right there that is the file so if i double click on it you'll be able to see the path of my file where this particular uh, autocad file is uh, is located it's actually located on my desktop and that's it then i'll close that now we'll come to we'll come to uh plot date we'll do the same thing we'll come to insert and come to define attributes and uh, just type plot date plot date remember there's no spacing here so the amount you space you'll be prompted to correct remove the spacing now i'll click that paste it here now I'll click on this in insert field. I'll click on that. Then uh, I'll click on this drop down arrow under field category, and I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to date and time. Click on that. So uh, the moment you click on date and time, it will default you to create date. Now uh, under date format, you pick on the date of your preference now i'll pick this date 
the date format of my region now i'll scroll i'll scroll down and pick the appropriate one i would go with the with 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 this one here then i'll click ok then i'll click ok right here and i'll uh, paste it here i'll just click it right click it right there and i want this text to match this one now i'll come to home here and come to match and i'll click this and click that to match everything then i'll select that and click move to drag it to that spot and that's it so to confirm whether you've done the right thing just double click on this attribute and you'll be able to see the current date then click ok now what i'm going to do right now is now i want to make this title block as a whole block as it is now if you know, if I if i select only a section only that section gets selected not the whole thing now what we are going to do we want to select everything here then press ctrl c once you've clicked ctrl c we want to go to insert here then uh, go straight to edit uh, i mean block editor and click block editor we want to give our title block a name and this one we will give it in uh, a new title block one new title one or title two then just go ahead and click ok you'll be taken into a uh, different environment that looks much gray and this is an uh, the environment for a block editor now what we'll do we'll just paste our title block inside here so the moment we paste it here you'll, you'll be able to see uh, the plot date already there so you 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 have uh, your own choices you can fill you can fill in or everything here if you want so in this case we'll just go ahead and click ok because you don't need to fill anything here and once you've done you've pasted it inside here just to make your, your title block selectable by just a single click paste it inside here then close the title the title block edit i mean the uh, the block editor then save these changes here this one's still in place because this is the master this is the the, uh, the one we created uh the one we used to create uh the next title block now i'll come to insert here i'll click insert here then the moment you click in insert you will see your title block we have our new title block too now i'll select on that and pull it and place it somewhere here now i'll go ahead the moment you uh, click in you'll be prompted with edit attributes you can either fill in your title block through this or you can just go ahead and click ok and you'll see this in place so whatever i was telling you is this this is the pl plot stamp and this will come here by default uh, the the day and time of printing or conversion will show here you can even change decide to change it physically by cl clicking that right there and click ok so this is the time this will come automatically whenever you make a printout or whenever you convert your drawing to a pdf this will stick by it and, and it will trace the path of your file and the file name and the date of plot of, 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 of printout or plotting date and time and also it will track uh, the computer that you that was used to print out and the username of that computer now this type of block, title block we can use it for most of the drawing but just making it bigger or make it smaller by i'll show you a good example of that and also i introduced maybe if you have several sheets here you can come here and just double click here and uh, this page one or uh, page one just put that the first page and uh, you come to the second page here and uh, is page one of what are they 10 are they 10 and that's it and it will be numbered right at the bottom end here maybe it is revision revision two we just come here and feed maybe revision two right there and that's it 
and if you mouse over this everything gets selected as a, as a block so in this case if i select that everything gets selected and this is very really good and uh, now i want to use this type of block for a different drawing i'll select it and i'll paste it inside a different drawing i'll come to layout here and i want to use it on this particular drawing now i'll just paste it here just press ctrl v and paste it here though it looks small because the scale i used here is so big and i'll, I'll come here and make it bigger let me just make things straight there and i'll zoom i'll make it bigger slightly larger then what i'll do i'll pull this drawing i'll move it or copy it elsewhere i'll i'll copy it maybe somewhere here then i'll get rid of that title block right there and uh, what i'll do here is just to pull this one pull this one move it somewhere there and drag it there and i have my title block in place i can make it bigger or i can make it uh, slightly smaller to to fit my drawing and this is how it looks you can use it for a2 you can use it for a1 you can use it for a3 it, it, it depends on your usage you can you can scale it up and the text will adjust to the scale and that's how we we do that and uh thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let's meet then i'm always deeper bye bye